Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today we are in medical terminology and we are working on Unit 5. So this week we will be studying Unit 5 and 6, which is the urinary system and the male reproductive system. The urinary system plays a vital role in body functions. The urinary system consists of the kidneys, the ureter, the urethra, and bladder. Of course, there are smaller body organs within the system that must be learned. However, the kidneys, ureter, and urethra, and bladder are the main organs. Be careful not to mix up ureter and urethra. I see this mix up all the time, both in the classroom setting and at work with coders searching for main terms. The male reproductive system's primary goal is to produce sustain and transport sperm. Wow, what a big function to have to be responsible for, right? So between these two chapters, there are quite a few new terms to learn. So take your time to learn these terms and make sure you can spell them. We have one prefix in these two units and it's trans. Trans means through or across. Suffixes. Cytal means to kill. Continence means to stop. Iasis is condition. Esis is condition. Gram is record or radiographic image. Lysis, loosening, dissolution, separating. Megaly, enlargement. Ptosis, drooping, sagging, prolapse. Horophy means suturing or repairing. Ism is a state of tripsy, surgical crushing, trophy, nourishment or development, and urea is urine or urination. Combining forms for these two units, you have quite a few of them here. Albumino is albumin, azoto, urea or nitrogen, bacteria, bacteria, crypto, hidden, Cysto, bladder or sac. Vesico, bladder or sac. Glomerulo, glomerulus. Glyco, sugar. Glycoso, sugar. Hydro, water. Litho, stone or calculus. Miato, meatus. Nephro, kidney. Nocto, night. Nocti, night. And remember that I is the plural form. Orchido, testes, testicle. Orchio, testes, testicle. Orco, testes, testicles. And testo, testes, testicle. Quite a few terms for one or two testes and testicle. Oligo, scanty, few. Proteino, protein. Reno, kidney. Spermato, sperm. Sono, sound. Tomo, cut or section. Pyolo, renal pelvis. Ureter, ureter. Urethral, urethra. Urino, urinary tract or urine. And uro is urinary tract or urine. Okay, your exercises for these two units. Number one, look up the following organs in the urinary system and make sure you understand their functions. So number one would be kidneys, glomerulus, renal pelvis, ureters, urinary bladder, urethra, and urinary meatus. And the best way I can teach you to learn these terms is once you look them up and figure out their function, draw a picture. Draw a picture of what it, it looks like in the human body and how these terms come into play, where their role is. Remember, the urinary system maintains homeostasis of extracellular fluid by filtering out electrolytes and nitrogenous waste and excreting them with excess fluid. And that excretion is called urine. And urine empties from the renal pelvis of each of the kidneys into the ureters and is pushed along by peristalsis, which is like a movement of the muscles, to the trigone of the urinary bladder. Muscle contraction pushes the urine 
out of the bladder into the urethra from which it is voided from the body. So it starts to make sense now, right? All this whole urinary process. Okay, exercise two. You have five terms to analyze and define the following terms. So build your words. Exercise three. Analyze the following terms. And remember, analyze means to define the word and then break up the word into its word parts. Now in exercise two, I gave you the diagrams for when, how it would look when you break these terms up. Well, in exercise three, I didn't give them to you. You have to figure them out here, okay? Exercise four, define the following terms. Use a medical dictionary, Google, or whatever. But for these two units, you need to know what a urinometer is, a nephroscopy is, a cystoscopy is, what nocturia stands for, and what dysuria is. And exercise five, learn the following abbreviations. ESWL stands for extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. And that's a, um, a procedure where they go in and actually um, crush up the stone. UTI stands for urinary tract infection. UA stands for urinalysis. BUN is the blood, urea, and nitrogen. And that's in your blood work, when they do blood work on you, they check your BUN levels. And CATH, cath, stands for catheterization or catheter. So as you can see here, we've got five exercises for these two units. And your assignment for this week is to go back and make sure that you know your terms from units one through four already and then make your flash cards or your index cards for the new terms that we've just introduced to you here in units five and six, and then complete these exercises throughout units five and six. Okay, guys, I know this gets to be quite a bit, and actually, I'm cutting a lot of these assignments down. I'd do them even heavier if you were in an actual class with me, but because this is YouTube and you're gonna have to stop, rewind, um, pause, whatever, to write these terms down. I understand, and I haven't given you as many as I could. So you guys, make this fun, and I'll see you in the next one.